Emperor Wars, how's it going? This is Kessen. Welcome back to Yu-Gi-Oh! War Champion 2004. Right, I don't recall where we've been left. Oh yeah, uh, who was... Oh, okay, we're almost at Umbra Lumis, that's not bad. That's not bad, we're almost at Umbra Lumis and then we got three, three um, rare hunters left. Well, Marek included Marek is... I include Marek as a rare hunter, but yeah. Come on, guys, come on. We're almost halfway to finish this game and I am so, so, so happy, really. I'm so happy. Because <laughs> that means we can move on with different uh, games. Of course, guys, I will, I will announce that after I finish this game and Dynasty Warriors 4 level 11 weapons are going to be uploaded, I will take a, a small break. Like a small break. Not like too long, but like a few weeks. Two weeks break at least. So yeah, and yeah, basically the only videos I'm going to upload are the one for members, which uh, some, uh, we already got a new member, uh, that's pretty cool, that's pretty pretty cool, that since my live stream that I've done, playing extreme mode in Dynasty Wars 4, like I was never expecting that somebody will dare to join as a member on my channel, so yeah. Uh, it does make, really make me feel happy, so thanks again to Sally and uh, my girlfriend, Pete Obsessive. To my, especially, to, especially to my girlfriend, since she has been a member of this channel for like... Months. I don't know, but like, lo quite lots of months she's been, really. And um, now somebody new, somebody, a new member has joined and is really awesome, really. As you can, say, as you can see, guys, uh, we're growing. With the, we are growing, there will not be just content for um, for Musou games, but even other games as well. Yes, I did announce that I will sort of retire from Musou games, because there's no other games that I can play, really. Oh, great. Some of my Zumbira. <sighs> not good. Like, but so far it looks like a future Dynasty Wars 3 Let's Play can be in progress so far. We still need a few more membership to get to work on a Dynasty Wars 3 Let's Play. Because guys, it's really hard work. And yeah. <laughs> really, really, really hard work. I don't like this end I got, so I have to discard it. This one is a bit worse. What can we do? Cause yeah, I'm gonna focus on other games, the other games that are not just Musou. Cause I believe there's more war games to play. I did mention already a few games that I plan to, I plan to bring. Yeah, I was probably, I was like seriously thinking about Naruto. Could be, could be a choice, Naruto. Could be, could be. <laughs> Still not 100% sure though about Naruto. Because I see there's so many war games to play besides Naruto. Ooh, what we got here? Uh, right, we only attack force then. Too bad I can use Tribute of the Doom because I don't have any card to discard or else we will like end this straight away. Because honestly, one, one of the games that quite um, catch my eye is Nightmare Before Christmas for PS2, made by Capcom. Like I said, it is made from the Sid Delpus of Devil May Cry, and it really, really catch my eye, really. It, honestly, it looks so fun to play, even because it's been made by the Sim Delpus of Devil May Cry. So that's one of those games that really, really caught my eye. Like, my plans to bring that game are very serious, so like they're very very serious. Oh come on, mask of weakness. No point, cause you dead. You about dead. Uh, okay, let's go with Yugi pose number two. Oh yes, Monster Reborn. We have got Monster Reborn. Yes, Monster Reborn! It's a. a do I have to say that Monster Reborn, guys, it's a must have? Do I have to say it? I'm sure you guys don't need for me to tell you that Monster Reborn is a must have. Where is it? Oh, that's my deck. 
Oh my god, we got Monster Reborn! I can't believe it! Monster Reborn! I'm so happy, really, that we are finally getting OP cards. So, so, I what is it? <laughs> Where is it? Can't find it. Bro, I can't find my Monster Reborn! I can f oh my... Jesus Christ. Uh, don't know. I can see it. Somebody help me. I can see it. Oh, uh, there it is, there it is, there it is. There it is. Oh my god, we finally got one of the, of the most OP card in the game. I can't believe it. I literally can't believe it. We do need Monster Reborn. Uh, there's no need new door yet. Monster Reborn! Yes! Yes, yes. And now we are officially, officially done with Umbra and Loomis. I can't believe it. So far we're getting OP as cards and I am so happy about it. So fucking happy. Like really guys, I have no idea how happy I am that we're getting OP cards. Oof. Fucking hell. Oops. Stupid emulator. Mm -hmm. Right. Honestly, we're starting to get OP cards and the ultimate deck is coming to life, finally. After, like, I don't know how many episodes, but really. The ultimate deck is coming to life and I'm happy about it. It really took me a while. Uh, Chanel. <sighs> That's not good. No good. I don't have any monster to stun boss raider. This is not going to be fun. Oh yeah, I got seven jar. That's perfect. Okay, that's perfect. Let's go with it then. Sabajar can actually help. Okay, I don't know why... What did he do? Apparently, if you tribute a monster to, to someone, if you, like, uh, tribute someone, apparently, the monster is automatically OP for the AI, which I think is pretty stupid. I don't know why it got such a brain, but... Really. This is the AI of the whole game, of course. Oh my god, he's, all, he's getting all monsters, bro. Exile Force. Mm. Oh, perfect. Wish I didn't get Exile Force because now we might destroy it. My god, all magic cards I got. Yeah, see. Bye bye, Exile Force. I can save it, I'm afraid. I cannot save my Exile Force. Oh well. That's a, that's a shame because it's actually a very good card and wasting it like that is absolutely bad, but no problem. No problem. Mm. Let's see... What we destroy? I think that's the, the Mask of Darkness, I think. He also got a Magician of Fate, but he doesn't have any uh, magic cards in his graveyard. Let's see what can we get back. Oh, mechanical chaser. Hmm, my life points are really, are really going bad. So, oh, Panther War. That's Panther War. That's perfect. Mm, but sacrificing a monster just to attack, it's a bit silly. Uh, that's a bit silly. <laughs> I need to get rid of all these monsters. All of them. I don't really want to attack with Panther Warrior. I really don't. So I'll just 
I'll just save one of my monsters because I really don't want to tribute, tribute any monsters, really. But he does! Oh no! No! I should have fucking attacked that! Oh my god! No way! And now I can't can do shit now. Come on! Why? What does he get that fucking summon skull? Oh, thank god, Must Reborn. Thank god for that. Because now, I can use... Yeah, I can obviously use... Uh, Exile Force to destroy that piece of shit. Fucking hell, bro. That was... Lo that, honestly, I don't know how did I save myself from him in Doom. Thank god I got Exile Force. Thank god for that. Otherwise, I don't know what will happen. Otherwise, I will, I will, I will lose. Definitely. Definitely, I will have lost. <sighs> right. <sighs> oh, no way! Come on! Fucking magic jammer here. Tango go magic jammer in pill hoarder. No! Chew! No, 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 no! No, 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 no! In pill hoarder! That's this motherfucker! I can't believe it! Oh my god, he really wants to get back the, the Solomon Skull! He tried three times to get it! This little piece of shit! I can't fucking believe it, this little piece of shit tried three times to get Master Reborn and failed! This bullshit, the two piece of shit, but seriously, there's two mo motherfuckers! They tried three times to get it back. Oh, Yugi Post number three, nice. What we what we getting now? What we getting? Grand Tiki. <laughs> oh, we basically get cards from their deck. Ooh, I like this. I like this girl, Lady is a selling of flame. Ooh, she's waifu. Remove three cards from the top of your deck from to play to, to inflict 800 points. Well, I'm just gonna put it in my deck just because she's waifu. Uh, Mask of Weakness. It's actually quite okay, Mask of Weakness in the end. I might try it. <laughs> yeah, I might put it in my deck because it is indeed a, a good card. The Mask of Weakness. Like, it's not bad. It's definitely not bad. I, I could use it. I, I could use it really, yeah. but what can I discard from my deck? I don't know. I don't know what can I discard. Um, negative attack, maybe? Nah, no point. Hmm. Maybe Mystical Space Typhoon, because I hate it sometimes. I do hate a Space Typhoon. I got Imperial Order and. Um, yeah, going through all the heavy storms, so... Right, and no strings! Oh, basically- oh yeah, there, there were uh, cards from the strings deck. The Yugi Post number 3. Not Loomis and Umbra. Now I remember, yeah. Like the humanoid- like the humanoid cards. But of course, he has a Vols Raider only because the, the attack are insane. So fuck you. Oh yeah, String is also a very easy opponent to face because he doesn't have any magic and trap cards. So that's absolutely make things so much easier for us. You have no idea how this make things easier. I'm just gonna use Panther Ward for now and hand my turn because there's really nothing I can do. He barely has any magic and, and trap cards, guys, really. All he does have are monsters and most reborn. <laughs> But seriously, I never see him use magic and trap cards, never. Barely, barely, either, he barely has any in his deck. So yeah. Hmm. 
Why did I destroy? I wanna, I wanna find out. Flapping <laughs> flying penguin. All right. Very cute, the flying penguin. Very cute indeed. Oh, what can we summon? Can I, I can summon. Oh, separate jar. Yeah, I'm gonna sacrifice this as a token for my panther warrior. Why not? Cool work. <laughs> but yeah, we are ready uh, facing strings. That's not bad. It's gonna, they're going to be very, very easy duels against strings. So don't worry. Easy, easy duels. Ah, oh, come on, bro. When I said he never used magic and drop cards, now he does. But seriously, they got like three premature burials and three monster reborns, the rare hunters, and that's absolutely insane because they can they can literally get back any monster. Like any. I mean any. Let's sacrifice the Panther Warrior. He is Cybertech Alligator. At least he, the Cybertech Alligator doesn't ask for a tribute. Because then Panther Warrior is like, okay, I'm going to attack, but first I want somebody of my ally die. No, actually, I think. I think this is uh, the effect of Panther Warrior. You know, in the end, every, every, every effort cards, they have like an history, you know. And I think the Panther Warrior is like, he wants like a, sacri a sacrifice, he wants to eat, so before attacking, and he's going to eat one of your allies. <laughs> I mean, I think that's the point of the Panther Warrior, I think. So yeah, it is supposed to be that. Exile Force, well Exile Force also you know, the, the history of Exile Force, like, it is an Exile Force, and they sacrifice to, to indeed kill. So, I think that's the story of the Exile Force. So, yeah, they all got a story. Like, for example, the Dark Sage, which you can only summon by Time Wizard, because the Time Wizard makes the Dark Magician hold, and it turns to be the Dark Sage. So, yeah. Like, it's pretty cool, really, if you think. That every monster's effect, they got an history. That all of them, basically. So, yeah. Fusion Gate. Oh, Fusion Gate. Uh, this is like Jaden's top card. Well, we are not Jaden, and we don't have elemental heroes. By shoe. Really? By shoes. Change the attack or defense position. One face of monster in the field. The, the card must remain face up. Okay. I'd return to spell or track us on the field to the ends of the owner. That's not actually quite bad, but <clears throat> it's quite useless in the end. We don't really need it. Let's go in uh, with strings again. Of course, we're gonna focus on strings. Strings, what a name. Cause yeah, it's been... Marek is pulling his strings, that's why it's called strings. Oh my god, you mono is slamming attack in attack position so I suppose this is Mark playing not strings because in the end string it doesn't have like a, a personality it's just a, a human being being controlled which we never seen this guy uh, with his own with his own brain if you think it was it, it's what it's kind of what makes him an interesting character we never see him being his own self. It would be nice at least to see the background of all the rare hunters. I know the rare hunters got their own story, like Arcana. Arcana, for example, he had, he had an incident. His face got burned and he lost um, his, his girlfriend during a, a, a magic trick. So, they are they're all have dark stories. Not sure, you know, yeah, he lost his girlfriend, she didn't die. And she left him because he was ugly. For his face, I don't know. It was quite horrible, to be honest, but, well. <laughs> so yeah, like, this seems all to have, like, a dark story, this Red Hunter, but we only see Arcana's story so far, and Marek. Marek as well, he has to protect the tomb of a fairy on that he doesn't even know when he's going to come back, and he wants to explore the outside world. That's Marek, so this is why I love Marek, because he, he, he has a realistic story, I didn't mention it before. Marek does actually have a realistic story. 
and yeah. But I wish they could give the background of every uh, rare hunter, you know. It will be nice to hear about, oh, that hurts. That hurts. That really hurts. That fucking hurts, but whatever. It would be nice to hear the background of each Rare Hunter story, like who they were, what were, what was their past, why they became Rare Hunter. <clears throat> so, yeah. It would be very nice to know. But so far, only Arcana go like a background story and Marik. And Odeon. The rest of them don't. I don't love Arcana. I mean, uh, he he used the, the, the evil the evil version of Dark, Mag of Dark Magician, which is absolutely sick. Then he was surprised when he didn't when he didn't knew about Dark Magician girl. And Yugi was like in the episode, "It's for a dark so you call yourself a Dark Magician master, but you don't know you don't know about Dark Magician girl." I think that was like the first entry of Dark Magician girl. Like, <clears throat> the first episode where Dark Magician Girl was introduced, like, oh my god. Gotta love the Dark Magician Girl. Let's keep the Magician of Fate. <clears throat> I don't love the Dark Magician, they're like one of my favorite meta deck. Like, I'm a big fan of Dark Magicians, especially Dark Magician Girls. Because, nowadays, there's so many Dark Magician cards. They have been made as an Xs and Synchro. Not actually, only Xs, I think. They made so many Dark Magician cards nowadays. <clears throat> it's, it's been like a meta. Like a, a meta. Like a new meta Dark Magicians. They made, so, they made many new cards of Dark Magicians and the designs, the effect, they all look sick. Like, really. Yeah, I do despite the new Yu-Gi-Oh, but honestly, the new Dark Magician they have made, guys. They all look sick. They all they all look sick, guys. The new Dark Magician they made. I absolutely love them, really. See, like Strings is a very weak opponent. Like he's so weak. Oh well. Dun dun dun. A magician of fate. Magician of fate is not exactly like part of the magician archetype, but it's a very important card for for Thea. So yeah, hey, we won. Let's go for no Yugi post street. What we got? Hellas Knight, Lightning Blade, or Bond. Choose one. Jogin the Spiritualist. Random discard one card from your hand to the graveyard to destroy all special summon moss on the field. In addition, as long as this card remains first up on the field, no monster can be special summoned. Well, this card is, a, is I think it's even banned this card nowadays. Because nowadays Yu Gi Oh! is only based on special summons. Only special summons, so. If this was uh, modern Yu-Gi-Oh, that card will be OP as shit. So this is why I'm not gonna uh, put it in my deck. Cause there's really no point for me to put it in my deck. There's no special summon so far. There's only tribute summon. Oh, snatch and steal. Uh... Right, let's do this. Let's just snatch steal. Wait, Panther Warrior. Yep, I'm gonna sacrifice the, the humanoid slime. So, Panther War is going to have a slime jelly for dinner. <laughs> I hope you like jelly, Panther Warrior, because you're going to hit some slime. I hope he liked. Well, I think he did like it. I suppose he eats, I don't know. The way you sacrifice the a monster. Oh, great. Spear Dragon, great. Hmm. Then he goes defense position. Jesus is still useless for this. 
I'm gonna get, get back my Panther Warrior, because why not? Why not? Why not? Oh, perfect. That's a good combo. Which is Black Forest? That's a good combo. Sacrifice the Witch of the Black Forest. I hope you, you like witches, Panther Warrior. They might taste good or not. But she's quite cute, the Witch of the Black Forest. She looks cute. Hmm. Let's pick the Gimini Health. Dun, dun, dun. <sighs> and now we're gonna hand this or not mm. yeah I need to wait one more turn we're gonna wait one more turn I guess because I had to sacrifice the game in your health well it's gonna have two Give me any help for dinner, so it shouldn't be starved for a bit, but too bad it doesn't count us too. So yeah. Panther Warrior, you're really a spoiled guy. You're a spoiled panther. Why are you so spoiled, man? So spoiled. Oh well. They dark health. She's like a waifu dark health. She's pretty cute. Even cuter than the, the mystic health. That's why I love keeping her in my deck. Not just because she's strong. There we go. Right. Uh, let's go for another. Oh yes, baby, yes. Sorrential tribute. Now we're talking. What's, oh my god, we even got the strong one face up monsters. Keep your next draw face. That's not bad. We got torrential tribute. We got torrential tribute, guys. I can't believe it. Torrential tribute, guys. It's a must have for the for our deck. It's a must have, guys. Really. We do need it. We do need it. I always had to suffer because of it, but now it's in my fucking deck. Right, we are in time for another duel against strings, why not? Well, we can do it. Just one more. One more duel. Torrential Tribute, I can't believe it. He always summoned that you mana slime in attack position. Why does he even do that? I don't understand, really. Mm. I don't like this hand. Just discard everything. There is Torrential Tribute. Now my deck is really OP. With cards that can actually destroy many cards, it's seriously becoming OP. Which means I can stand more OP opponents in the future. It's pretty good, it's pretty good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And of course, no need to register tribute when I got trap hole. He doesn't have any trap cards, so I feel like Jeans is pretty useless for <laughs> to fight strings, really. Oh, but why not summon him? Why not summon him? Like, why not? Let's go, let's go. Okay, this this stage really went pretty well. Like, we're ready one. Like, are ready. It didn't last long, this time strings. It really didn't last long. I don't know if I go... Oh, yeah, actually, I got magic cards in my deck. I got a magic card. I got a magic card, that's no bad. Yeah, <clears throat> Axe Destruction. 
and let's go summon Cybertic Alligator. And give him the Axe of Despair. Two machines I got. Mm. Go, 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 go. He went pretty fast, this drill. Pretty fast. Not bad. <laughs> Not bad at all. Fuck you! Come on! Like, really, dude? Like, come on, why Dark Hole? Great. Now I don't have any monsters to sacrifice. No good at all. I was, I was doing pretty well. I was like winning a few turns, but then Dark Hole! And no Regeki! Oh my god, no way. If I had to die due to fucking Milma, really, I'm not gonna be happy. I need to, I need a monster, I need, I need a fucking monster now. Oh, they look perfect. Yeah, we won, we won. And then under life points, we're gonna inflate. Pretty accurate. Oh no. Thousand, my bad. Can't, I can't do that. Though he had, um, never mind, never mind. Right. Mage power! Oh! Oh! Okay, guys, we won. We won the game. We won the game. Mage power! Guys. Guys. Mage power! Oh my god, this card is enough to win the fucking game. We won. We won. We win everything. Guys, we mage power. Do you realize what's gonna happen now? Do you realize what's gonna happen? That we're gonna finish duels in like in an instant, like, like boom, in an instant of an eye. You guys have no idea how mage power is OP. Like really, mage power, mage power. Can you believe it? I got mage power. Oh my god, mage power! What is it? What is it? Jesus Christ! Jesus fucking Christ, I can't believe it! I got mage power! What is it? Oh, there it is. Oh my god, with this card, guys, we, we won the game. Literally, if for those who don't know, Mage Power increases 500, 500 attack points to, to one monster for each magic and trap cards on the field, including the one for, of your opponents. It's absolutely a crazy card to have in your deck. This card for old Yu-Gi-Oh! is broken. It's fucking broken. Look, read the effect. So... And then there is United We Stand. United We Stand is a, another version of magic power, but it works. But it works with monsters. Like instead of trap cards and magic cards, is with monster and increases 800 attack points. So it's crazy. It's crazy. But I don't know who to get rid of now. I don't know. Can decide. I go to P cards. So. Uh, naked attack, yeah. Rough fellow warriors, and I guess this is everything for now, and I'll catch you guys later. So, as always, like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you guys through next episode. See you guys soon, and take care. Like, subscribe, comment, and yeah. Consider becoming a member of my channel, and subscribe to my girlfriend, Pete Obsessive. Take care, and bye-bye.